Oh my god, Higgins? Nice. First familiar face I get to run into besides Bez and Davidson after yesterday. How you been, Pick Me? I've been good. How about you? Nice to see you with a name tape for once. Huh. Surviving. Literally. Other than that, well... I hate lying. I don't know if I want to say I've actually been doing good. Actually, you remember my brother-in-law that was in the hospital? He died. I had to hear it over the phone from my wife recently. He died in the hospital. My god, Higgins, I'm... I'm so sorry for that. I'm really sorry he's gone. Yeah, I, uh... You know, it's a really tough situation and my head still goes a million miles an hour about it all happening. About what actually happened. If it really went down the way they said it did. He's a good man. He uncovered a lot. Higgins. If someone did something to cause that. If someone took him away from us like that, you know it's personal with me, right? Damn it, pick me. I shouldn't have brought this up. You need to focus on tonight. I know you and Trigger are headed out there in a few hours. Hey, I've been through worse. You know I have. You've seen me go through it, but your brother-in-law helped us. He helped provide evidence. I mean, would Trigger and I even be out here today if it wasn't for brave people like you, Albright, Lunar, Bez, him, and God, who knows how many others? Wasn't he one of the first people out there to do that kind of digging, aside from us? Yeah, I get it, Pick Me. You feel like you owe him a lot. Believe me, I know how you feel. I mean, it was already personal knowing he even died. A man out there, wonderful enough to help uncover the truth in order to help us out of a terrible situation, and all of a sudden, he's gone and I don't even get to thank him. But this? The possibility that someone went after hey, him? Hey, I know where this is going, alright? This is not on you. Don't you even dare for even a second blame yourself for someone coming after him. The only ones to blame are the ones that went after him. You got me? All right, you made your point, but it's still personal, Higgins. God, it would have been great to just have him here. He'd probably be fighting alongside us in this war. His way, the way he knows how. Information. Yeah, that was his thing. He was all about info. It always got him into a bit of trouble, and eventually it would make me paranoid for knowing what I know. Which leads me to a big part of why I'm here now, actually. Bez pulling strings. Gotta be him. I do remember him wanting to kind of rally us all together, just in case. Both him and Cypher, actually. If anyone's deep into this war going on behind the veil, it's Davidson and his former wingmen. So he's quite the shot caller himself. And because of that, I got Lat moved here. Albright, being the hard charger he is, wanted to be in the front lines. Can't say I blame him. I miss combat myself, but Bez and Cypher wanted at least one of us grunts here. Grunts who are in the know about this underground war. You know what I mean? That's right. Cypher did mention you and Albright like he knew you two. God, small world. So, yeah. That should catch you up on my whole life story so far. And you know, speaking of GALM team and the Eustian personnel, I'm with the unit that'll hang back with them here until we catch up with you and the LRSSG a few hours after you're all settled at Cape Rainey. I take it you met the new pilots. Well, not so new, but like, new to this whole family we've got going. Well, I already know Maverick and Hobbit. They have a lot of respect for you and Trigger. Ever since they heard about you two, they started becoming completely different people, even before they left the Triple Four. I run into them again here, and they just straight up offer to buy me evening chow. Really proud of those two. Those two are absolutely amazing. So if anyone's new to me, it's Bloodbolt. She seems experienced. You can just tell. I can see she has a thirst for vengeance, but knowing Cypher, there's no doubt she's in good hands. Guess you already know about our country demonizing her almost as badly as they demonize us. Yeah, for telling the truth about you and Trigger. That and about her own situation since the whole world vilifies Osea. Even so-called Oseans back home. At this point, unless they're affected in some dire scenario, they'll always see us that way. Trigger and I tend to lean into it these days. Eventually, we'll figure out a way to use it to our advantage. There's gotta be a way. Beginning nighttime aerial refueling process. Be careful of reduced visibility. Wait, haven't we done this recently? That was before the war, I think. Patrolling back home. 1,500 meters to tanker. Copy that, Bourbon. Too fast. Lower airspeed. That 10 hours of sleep is really kicking in now. Yeah, I'm fucking amped. 500 meters. You have permission to access the refueling tanker. Roger. How's my heading? Trigger. Maintain your current approach. Copy. Looking clean, Trig. 
Feels like my senses are jacked up to 11. I didn't even have coffee and I'm hyper as shit. 100. 50 meters. Damn, Trig. That's probably the smoothest throttling I've seen you do. Excellent work, Trigger. I'm on my edge dresser shit tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Tight as fuck. Skin motherfucking tight. Refueling initiated. Maintain your current position. Yo, pick me. Yeah. You ever think about how terrified they are? Of us? I can tell you're not just talking about the Roosies. You're talking about... them. Yeah. Them. Strider 1, you have passed through waypoint 1. No weapons until you reach the enemy base. All aircraft, reduce altitude. We have altitude restrictions from here on out. Roger that, Longcaster. Dropping to Cherubs. Keep altitude below 600 meters. That's clear. Descending. Keep her low, Strider. Strider 1 nose to the trenches. Show us at Cherubs 2, Longcaster. Good. Maintain your current course. Well, hell. Not as narrow as I thought it would be. You still remember that night run, huh? From training? That's when my custom helmet was finally finished, man. Well, I still had to wait for mine. Oh, yeah. I was rocking mine first while you were still rocking beige. Searchlight up ahead. Watch for it. None of them are popping up on picture. Stay out of their sight. Strider, NASA's one. Our current ETA matches yours. We'll catch the wrong car. Can we secure the LZ quickly? We'll get you down safe. I'm worried you're short on men. Better not pull that suicide mission shit. Everyone here's already signed their wills. Bro, come on. That ain't funny. Understood. Yeah, I get being moto, but you can't just, like, be potato about it. Ground boys are acting like they're in some sort of penal unit or something. Never again do I ever want to be surrounded by frauds and backstabbing scumbags. Strider 1, you've passed through waypoint 2. The valley's about to get narrower. Be careful. Spotlight's bringing us back up to around Cherubs 4. We'll be dropping again soon. Strangely enough, I remember why Apollo being more of a nightmare. Well, that's because we were required to pop up over the clouds. Oh, that's true. When can we take on the final mission? I'm starting to get tired of all this. This is the last step, Count. We'll take the enemy base and use it as a bridgehead. Watch yourselves out there. We're going to need all of you in Farbanti. Plus Gom and Voodoo when they catch up. Without Wiseman here, everybody wants to give orders like they're the company commander himself. Well, I'm kind of a flight lead. You kind of have to listen to me, Count. That's rich coming from you, Count. You're all right, though. Like, even though you suck at math. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? You're all right, Count. Especially when you're, like, not talking. We'll give this to you, Count. At least you give a shit about your new squad mates. You know, in a unit that's actually worth a damn. Out of all the shitheads from Spare Squad, you're the least scummy. The rest of them would get us killed out here. Well, well, well. Would you look at that? It's actually getting narrower. Systems will hit us with a couple surface warnings along the way. That's a given. Awesome. Yep, there she goes. Easy, girl. It's Daddy Trig. Watch your speed. I know. My speed tends to act out of line. Sometimes I have to put my speed in the corner to think about how fast I was going. Most of the time your speed is a good boy, though. Who's a good speed? Here, speedy, speedy. You've passed waypoint three. You're coming up on the base, imposing radio silence. You won't be able to talk again until you're over the base. Continue to keep an eye on your altitude. There are plenty of dark spots that can sneak up on you. ICS is up. Fucking more. 
morons accused of being evil. Typical spoiled bruises. Fire up the searchlight! I can't see where the enemies are coming from! Ha! Huh, took some of those out already. It looks like the enemies have the fence turned online. Because they finally decided to wake up. Keep up the attack. The sooner we finish this thing, the better. You heard him, Strider.
Yeah, their support was right on the money. We'll go Longcaster. Strider 1 standing by. Keep pushing the enemy on their heels! Okay, start running on the count of three. Stay frosty down there. Great, I get to finally send my booties in to ring the doorbell. There's still quite a few enemies hold up in there. However, we can't afford to wait any longer. Begin the assault! If anyone resists, kill them! Fuck yeah! Mow them down! Body parts all over that fucker! Contact! Two o'clock! Go! Go! Fire! Good old-fashioned breach and clear. Scott, tear down that barricade! with international law. We've even brought pizza. I suppose we could treat ourselves with a little junk for tonight. Caution. Looks like they can shred those wills. I'm already getting an earful from the men over the needless paperwork. <laughs> no joke. Have a little faith in yourselves, guys. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and begin your approach. We'll do the flight control. Roger that. Strider 1, this is Basilisk. The runway is clear. You have permission to land. The party is on as soon as you get here. When Voodoo, Gom, and the Ustian personnel catch up with us, Reduce your speed. then it's a party. Should be three days until next sortie, right? Yep. 3,000 meters to the runway. Lower your nose. You're too high. You know what? I'll pick out the movie for when they get here. Hmm. You are right on course. Maintain current heading. Action. Aw, oh, yeah, we're at the point where you know me too well, huh? 1,500 meters. Runway. Every night is movie night, and if it ain't MST3K, it's action. That's just how I am, man. I mean, hey, you can never go wrong with that. Exactly, Trig. Exactly. Yeah, we'll dig through your library this time. You know, we never did get to that martial arts comedy. Actually, not too long ago, I skimmed through a little bit of that, and I swear to God, that's like mostly fight scenes, just almost all the way through. Wait, for real? Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's like right up my alley. I could go for that, to be honest. Turn my brain off and watch people beat each other to death. All right, it's settled then. Wop, bop, and chop it is. Any specific kind of pie you want? As long as it has a lot of meat and none of that pineapple shit, I'm happy. Hey, you know me. If it's savory, I only want savory with it. I'm gonna go with Ustjan. That's what your ethnicity looks like to me, at least. Well, see, I have Polish bloodlines. And Pikmi looks Polish, too. So wait, she actually has Ustjan bloodlines last time I asked her. I knew I wasn't crazy. You spend enough time around these guys and you recognize their facial structure and all that. Hobbit. You always looked Ustian to me. Eh, it's almost kind of ridiculous, you know? The idea that there are countries here that are just your version of the countries we have back where I come from. Like, if that's actually what's happening here, that's pretty nuts. Well, I'm ready to find out about almost anything now. You know what I'm about to say that'll make me sound like a broken record? It's wild. Man, I bet thinking about all this stuff is gonna make it really hard to sleep even after a long, uneventful flight over here. We need to unwind, man. That's why Pikmi is looking for a projector so we don't all have to cram up in front of her laptop just to watch a goofy martial arts flick. Flying felt good, by the way, Cypher. I mean, I know we didn't encounter shit, but that's why I can't wait to warm up tomorrow. Hit that G-Force hard with a little airborne sparring. Good. Maverick isn't gonna hold back, so neither should you. After that, Bez needs you in Farbanti a couple days from now. I do remember Bez relaying that to me. You and Mav be careful further out north. Yeah, that's one suspicious fleet just roaming around like that. Usually they're around Antarctia. The fact that they're just further north all of a sudden gives me stalker vibes. Fuckers aren't even Erusian. If they're not even Belkin, I don't know what the fuck to think anymore. I even got a weird feeling about Farbanti, if that makes any sense. You're gonna love flying with Strider and Cyclops. They get shit done. And like we kept hearing back at the Triple Four, you stick with Trigger, You'll definitely make it. You all better make it out of there alive. I'm with Wiseman on the whole survival sentiment. And you already know the most important reason why. Anyway, I'm gonna go knock out. You fellas have fun with that action flick. Kung Ferocious 2. I miss those types of movies. They don't make them like they used to.